good morning students we have to discuss today on the classification of plant diseases the diseases are caused by fungi bacteria viruses mycoplasma and higher plants depending on their living being these are classified as animate and inanimate these are the animate pathogens which are responsible for the development of the disease and inanimate consists of the environmental factors which causes the diseases to the crop plants and higher plants diseases of plants are classified by various ways depending on the purpose of discussion that is they may be localized or systemic if the pathogen causing to the plant are animate and these are caused to certain parts of the plants that is leaf root or stem such diseases are called as localized diseases and the plant body of the pathogen is confined to the infected parts only to the infected parts and other systemic when it affecting the entire plant the diseases are systemic when the pathogen is present throughout the host body of the plant and the symptoms of this disease are seen when the ear heads are flowering structure during the flowering structure uh, pathogen is uh, emerge out through the flowering structures and their reproduction is takes place the diseases are also classified on the basis of their spread that is soil borne seed borne and air borne the diseases are called as soil borne when the pathogens are transfer from agency of soil the resting structures of the pathogen are present in the soil and these are responsible for the spread of the disease primary spread of the disease because these are over summering and over wintering organs of the pathogen the diseases are also spread through the air agency of air the resting structures are present in the soil and they produces the conidia or spores these conidia and spores are disseminated by wind and these are transfer or settle down on the feathery stigma or on the plant part and in this way the uh, infection is caused to the plant by the air their spores conidia and asexual structures are transferred from infected plant to the healthy plant and disease is transferred in this way when the causal agent responsible for the disease perpetuates through the agency of soil or seed propagating material seed propagating material means uh, such as um, sugar cane sugar cane is cultivated by means of seed sets through such seed sets the disease is transfer that is propagating material uh, we cultivate the rose by seeds or seed sets by seed sets therefore such a material is called as plant propagating material such plant propagating material is also responsible for the spread of the disease now first plant diseases are classified on the basis of symptoms and signs certain symptoms and signs are seen on the plants after their infection uh, number 1 is rust rust are small pustules of spores usually breaking through the host epidermis pustules may be either red brown yellow or black in color and these are raised from the surface these colored pustules are produced by the fungus and shows its emergence through the epidermis of the uh, host such epidermis shows certain colored pustules and color is varied uh, such as red brown yellow or black 
the example of rust is black rust of wheat rust of euphorbia caused by uridia uridial stage is present on the euphorbia plant and the pathogen is paxinia the paxinia causes the rust of euphorbia smut the word smut means a sooty or charcoal like powder and in this stage the affected parts of the plant shows a black dusty symptoms occurs especially in the floral organs the in this disease the infection is takes place at the germination stage and reproduction of the fungus is takes place when the plants get mature when the host get, get matures and they produces the black sooty powder charcoal like powder through the inflorescence in it the ovary is completely replaced and black sooty powder is produced in the floral parts third is mildews mildews are the plant diseases in which pathogen is seen as a growth on the surface of the host they appear as a white gray brownish or purplish patches on the host surface in mildews it consists of two types downy mildew and powdery mildew in downy mildews the superficial growth is cottony while in the powdery mildew enormous numbers of spores are formed as a superficial growth giving a powdery appearance next is rot the affected tissues of the host are die decompose to a great extent and brown and black colored tissues are produced depending on the plant organ attacked it may be root rot leaf rot and fruit rot these are also grouped as soft rot wet rot or dry rot generally soft rot is caused in vegetables fruit rot is also a soft rot and in this disease uh, middle lamella of the host is dissolved by the enzymes produced by the fungus or pathogen and therefore uh, decomposition of the tissues is takes place now blight in this disease sudden death of the plant or its parts is takes place the dead area turn brown and appear like the burned such diseases are called as blight canker a canker is dead area in the bark or cortex especially in the woody plants the surface is generally rough or corky this disease is caused to all the parts of the plants that is stem root leaf fruit such parts of the plants are affected by the bacteria a good example of this disease is citrus canker caused by a bacterium xanthomona citrae to the citrus plants now seven wilts in this disease drying or wilting of entire plant or its branches is takes place the best example is wilt of tur in this disease fusarium oxysporum or the species of fusarium are attacked to this plants at the time of germination and they block the conducting system of the plant generally these are present in the xylem lumen and they interferes with the free flow of water and due to such blocking of the xylem lumen by the fungus due to the enormous growth of the fungus the parts of the plants entire branches or whole plant get wilts now spots the cells are killed in definitely limited areas and the dead tissues 
usually become brown and these are surrounded by red or brown margins such diseases are called as spots such as alternary leaf spots of tomato these are certain images uh, this is a rust see this is a pustule orange pustule and it is raised from the surface of the leaf these are the rust Paxinia graminis triticae which causes a serious disease to the feet plant uh, called as the stem rust of feet uh, in this disease two stages are produced by the fungus uh, in the primary stages the erodial stage is produced by the fungus this erodial stage consists of erodospores and erodospores are orange colored therefore pustules are also orange colored and in the late season from the same pustule the same fungus paxinia graminis triticae produces black pustules and teratospores are black in color these are the smuts see this is a whip like structure which is produced by the fungus and it emerge from the growing apex of the host this whip is covered by a thin layer and when such a thin layer decomposes or breaks the sooty black powder of the fungus is spread through the air this is a head smut of jowar it consists of black sooty powder such symptoms are always present in the flowering stages of the host plants the they completely replace the floral organs into the black sooty powder this is powdery mildew of grapes see this is the dusty powder and patches of white spores are present on the upper surface of the leaves this is a powdery mildew of grapes this is a downy mildew of grape the yellow patches are present on the upper surface and downy growth of the spores conidia are present in the lower surface of the leaves this is a downy mildew of grapes this is a stem rot of soybean due to the fungus pythium uh, stem rot is caused in the soybean plants and plant get collapse or topple over on the ground this is a root rot of soybean caused by the rhizoctonia species uh, so many fungi are responsible for the uh, root rot uh, in it rhizoctonia is always present this is a root rot of soybean this is complete damage of the root system caused by the rhizoctonia this is a root rot of cotton due to the root rot by fungi uh, the whole plant get withered and dry away this is a fire blight of the apple see due to the bacterium irivinia amylohora this disease is caused to the apple plants and uh, certain branches or whole plant get blighted or burnt away uh, such disease is called as fire blight of apple and pears in pears also such disease is found this is a canker that is citrus canker see this the infection on the fruits the corky lesions are produced on the aerial parts of the plants that is stem leaf and fruit in the primary stages the lesions are surrounded by yellow halo this is yellow halo the pale yellow colored uh, lesions are produced on the upper surface of the leaves and when the disease intensity is much more these spots coalesce and corky patches are produced on the fruits also therefore due to such diseases the market value of the fruit is decreased or down grade this is a wilt of tur that is kajanas kajan 
due to the fungus fusarium oxysporum uh, the fungus is present in the lumen of the xylem and due to the attack of this fungus the branches or entire plant get wilt spots this is a alternaria leaf spot on the soybean or family fabaceae on the family fabaceae this alternaria uh, produces a leaf spot diseases see this is these are the leaf spots produced on the upper surface of the leaves now second part of the classification is plant diseases classified on the basis of causal organisms in it it consists of animate and second inanimate in animate type diseases are caused by organisms called animate and often classified on the basis of their occurrence it consists of endemic diseases endemic diseases are the diseases when these are more or less constantly present from year to year in a moderate to severe form in a particular country or part of earth such diseases are called as endemic diseases such as rust of feet in this the pathogen is well established in the fields or survives on the alternate or wild host from one crop season to the next when the main crop is uh, unavailable to the pathogen these are survived on the same member of the family and when the main crop is available the disease is transferred from wild plant to the main crop second is epidemic disease an epidemic disease is one which occurs widely but periodically it may be present constantly in the locality but assumes a severe form only on the occasions this disease is occur only on the occasion such as uh, fire blight of apple uh, yellow bean of bhindi and other viral diseases which are caused to the papaya plant these diseases are occasionally in severe form and survives on such a host third is sporadic diseases sporadic diseases are those diseases which occur at irregular intervals and locations and relatively in few instances these diseases are occur in few instances isn't it such as leaf spot of many plants caused by alternaria now last is pandemic diseases the pandemic diseases are diseases which prevalent throughout the country continent or the world such diseases are called as pandemic diseases and the best example of this disease is a coronavirus a disease corona caused by the coronavirus this disease is attacked to the human beings in a country and throughout the world such diseases are always called as pandemic diseases now in animate diseases that is diseases are caused by unfavorable environmental conditions these diseases are not caused by the pathogens that is living organisms living organisms are not responsible for these diseases due to unfavorable environmental conditions certain diseases are caused by the are caused to the plants these diseases are called as non infectious or non parasitic diseases because living organisms are always absent in such diseases therefore these are non infectious diseases therefore these diseases are always called as disorders with which no animate virus or virioid pathogen is associated with the disease therefore they remain non infectious and cannot be transmitted from one diseased plant to another healthy plant because pathogen is always absent or not associated with these diseases the best example of the disease is black heart of 
potato which are caused by the unfavorable environmental conditions such as low oxygen due to low oxygen uh, in the soil or due to low aeration in the soil the black heart of potato is caused and due to this disease the potato are uh, decomposed or these are not uh, to uh, edible these are not edible because complete decomposition of the potatoes are takes place due to the low oxygen content in the air these disorders are due to disturbances in the plant body caused by lack of minerals improper environmental conditions of soil and air in the air if um, mineral content is less that is deficiency of mineral mineral excess is also caused the dis disturbances in the host plant body not mineral deficiency mineral excess is also responsible for such diseases next is low and high temperature these are also responsible for the diseases when the temperature is low uh, that is uh, 0 degree centigrade in our area jowar is affected by such uh, unfavorable environmental condition that is due to low temperature uh, the tissues of the plant tissues of the jowar plant are get disturbed the water present in the tissues are due to cold conditions uh, ice is formed in such a plant tissues in the cells and tissue tissues are burst and this disease is affected the healthy uh, jowar plants high temperature is also responsible for the disease uh, we have discussed about the unfavorable oxygen which is responsible to the disease causing heart uh, black heart of potato uh, other environmental conditions include soil moisture ph presence or presence of toxic gases in the atmosphere lightning injury are also the major causes of physiological disorders in the plants lightning injury means the lightning during the rainy season this is, this is also responsible for the disease of the plant thank you thank you very much uh, in the next part we will see the other disease caused by the fungi thank you